Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. When we last left off, we just had a little peek in here when we found, uh, well, an unfortunate fellow to say the least. Thank you. Uh, we also found a plant pot. Now, what I like about this plant pot is this is the oldest trick in the book. Yeah, so key taped to the bottom. <laughs> I have no idea why um, that's a thing, but hey, it is, and it's freaking delicious. So, uh, let's go to the machine room and see if we can't fiddle about with some stuff over there. Might be a bit of a short video, uh, not sure. Kind of running out of time. Pushing the envelope, as we like to say around here. In fact, I don't think I've ever said that, but hey, let's roll with it. Ah, uh, now... We need to go to the double doors. Yeah. Right over here. And it's time to have a little poke in here. We actually popped our heads around the corner earlier when we first got here. But uh, alas, we were getting ahead of ourselves just a little bit. And I have the ink ribbons on me, don't I? <sighs> yes. Yes, I do. Never mind. I'm going to drop those off in a minute. Uh, yep, yeah, check the key. The key is no longer needed. Hell no. Right. Now, we have a console there right in front of us. And we don't want to go anywhere near that. We want to go through here first. Otherwise, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, remember we needed a valve. Now we have a valve. I'm... Fortunately, if we check this valve, we can't actually use it in its current um, in its current configuration. A tool used to open and close the valve. Yes, very, very accurate there, Claire. Very accurate. Now, if we have a valve, I'm not sure what we're going to use that for. Wink, wink, nudge. Oh, God. Dumbo's here. Ugh. It looks like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Then if we can break through the wall with that digging vehicle, we might have a chance. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Ah, <sighs> good thing this digging vehicle's here. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose. That's some fine work there, Steve. It's almost as if you're not going to fuck something up for once. But no. Steve, watch out! Yep. It's toxic gas. He can't help himself. He's just got to fuck it up. Not quite sure why he's hammering away on those controls either. He's just burst the pipe. <sighs> it's all my fault. Yes. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape from here. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. Okay. Steve! Don't forget, we'll get out of here. Together. But, Claire, it was his fault. If he wasn't staring at your, your fucking ring piece, whilst he was meant to be doing his job, he wouldn't have uh, potentially got us both killed and made our job that much harder to complete. God, stop going soft on the boy. He needs a kick up the ass. Right, anyway, let's have a little look in this room. Yeah, it looks like we have some shotgun shells and another one of those cases. Also, eh, 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 zombie. Now that zombie can't get at us. But there is a lot of handgun bullets in this room. Which we're certainly going to be slipping into our pocket, that's for sure. Um, now, 
We've got some herbs. I guess we'll take the herbs. I suppose there's no reason in not taking the herbs. After all, herbs are good, right? Okay, and we have some... We've got 19 ink ribbons. Like, even if you were saving, like, every few minutes, uh, getting used to the game, that's a lot of ink ribbons. Like, seriously. Jeez, okay. A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. Uh, I can use this to process metal materials easily. Well, good. Because we have one of these. And we need to uh, alter it. I love the sparks coming off this thing. Looks really cool. That's a fine job there. You've taken the octavalve handle. Brilliant. I'm glad you knew exactly what you needed to do there, Claire. All right there, dude. Just hanging around, enjoying yourself. Good man. Um, right, we'll be back to see you a little bit later, mate. Now, you know, it actually took me quite a long time of fiddling and farting around when I first played this game, trying to get into that cage. I was like, I must have missed something. I must have missed something. No, no you didn't. This game just, this game feels like it's going to end quite often. Um, but it doesn't. It reminds me of Resident Evil 4. Oh God. Yep, don't want to breathe in too much of that stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, we got double egged. Ah, it's fucking bullshit. I hate those things. It's been double egged. Right. One gone. Wait for the next one to hatch. Don't worry, game. I've got all day. It's fine. No, seriously, I, I have all day. Ah, bloody eggs, man. They do my head in. Um, right. Uh, don't really think we want that. But, uh, we've got a lot of herbs. Like, seriously, we've got a lot of herbs. Um... Now... Might actually drop that in there and that in there. Is that a wise move? Maybe that's a wise move. Uh, trying to think what's what, what what what's good tactically for where we're going. Um let's grab some more of these. Combine. Yeah, I mean, that's plenty for taking out a few Zeds. Okay, sure, fine. Ah, uh, bloody egg. So the last thing is we, we want is this thing to hatch when we've got zombies coming out of our ass. There we go, there we go. Come on. Got it. Fuck you. Fucking dirty bastard parasite prick. Okay. Now let's go run past these filthy bloody things. I really don't like those moths. Have I made that clear? Right, let's go to work on these zombies. Oh, he's getting a bit of a wiggle on. There we go. Yeah, we should have enough ammo with this, this weapon. This weapon's pretty bloody useless, but that's okay. I mean, I can't think of where else really we're going to use this thing up. I mean, I guess we could have kept it in the box, I suppose, but there we go. Oh, that's all of them. Yeah, we went through like a humongous chunk of our ammo there. That is pretty bloody amazing just how much ammo we used. Right, let's go fire this puppy up. lovely and we want to fire this puppy up 
because we need to cause a gas leak in the BOW room. Otherwise, we can't get our um, gas mask. I think that's one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's one thing that actually confused me a little bit. You can't get this unless you send the box uh, into this room. Because the box actually breaks because of the broken uh, elevator or escalator conveyor belt. There we go. Which uh, I thought was quite interesting. So it doesn't mean a gas leak in the facility. It only means a gas leak in here. And there's only one gas mask as well. But if anything bursts out of there, it should be weakened now. Because obviously we're using the uh, anti-BOW gas. Shame we couldn't have pocketed a couple of canisters of that stuff really. Claire, what are you thinking about? The room is filled with poisonous gas. I dare say it is, Claire. I dare say it is. Okay. Now. I love that. Look at the design of the gas mask. That's really freaking cool. Now, I'm surprised it doesn't have any straps. It seems to be like one of those masks that vacuum seals to your face. Uh, I wouldn't want to trust myself with one of those masks in an actual hazardous situation. But, I mean, hey, what do I know? Claire Redfield. I mean, she's a Redfield. She probably doesn't even need this to breathe in here, to be honest. I also love how this gas instantly disperses. We're safe now. Think again, Claire. Oh. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time. You get <sighs> <laughs> Bad one. Ouch. Well, that doesn't sound what was that? good. Oof. He's pretty ripped for a tyrant class, to be fair. But I think all the tyrant class beasts are pretty ripped. Right, well. Let's actually go back and see if we can make a cheeky save. We can. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because we've got potentially... Well, it's not a difficult bit. It's actually a very easy bit, to be honest. But... I want to go and drop... This uh, bowgun back anyway. You know, for reasons. Ugh. Ow. Oh, you bastard. Fucking... No, wait, hang on. Did he lay an egg on me? There's not one there. Which is kind of interesting. There's no egg on her back. Uh, huh. Okay, I'm not sure if there's no egg on her back. Um, hmm, actually. I was going to drop that back, but thinking about it. Uh... Yes, potentially. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> no, I think we'll keep it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the bow gun. Just in case things do go a little bit pear-shaped. Right, let's give it a save anyway, just in case things do go pear-shaped. I mean, we haven't really gone that far in the game. 
but let's not tempt fate right now because the let's player's curse is an old friend of mine and it definitely likes to stiff me when it can okay yeah okay i i don't know what happened with that egg i've never seen that before when they go to lay one on your back and did it fail there definitely ain't one there i've never seen that before i didn't know that could even happen interesting i wonder if it's because technically we should be leaving now hmm i don't know right anyway uh let's grab up this rifle yes very nice very nice Claire, what are you doing let's go hey you're not the only one that can bumble around mate are you ready i'm gonna bust through that wall uh, you go do that for it. it's interesting how these CGI scenes have not aged very well graphically compared to the in-game models. That was a lot of water. Right. through there <laughs> come on let's go I do love so very much how um, there's zero mention of how cold it would be Claire come on finally we can get out of this insane place yep 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 but before we do that let's have a look at our new rifle MR7. This is an American bolt action rifle. You can snipe a distant enemy with its scope. Yeah, we can. It's kind of an interesting weapon. Uh, very unique for the game, to be honest. Like, you wouldn't, you know, I think this was, um, barring the uh, original, what was a gun survivor game. This was like the first time we kind of had like a, a first person kind of mode, I think. Kind of interesting. Anyway, let's harvest up some goodies. Anything else? I don't know if there's anything else here. No, I don't think so. All right, Steve. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on it. We're on it. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. What are you scared? Uh, a little bit. <sighs> Good. Steve. Failed again, Steve. Hold on. I'll wake that monster and come back. Claire. Forget about me. Yes, Claire. Run. Forget about him. Run. Fuck Steve. Not in that way. Yeah. Uh, gee. Maybe if Steve wasn't hell-bent on trying to look cool he would have been more useful I mean whoever designed Steve obviously spent way too long watching fucking cheesy anime one second guys okay cool right uh, where were we let's just turn the old control pad back on shall we uh, oh god right yes quite uh, bollocks. And unfortunately, this dude has some really cheap, shitty attacks. Uh, even with this rifle, kind of like max range, you can't really see anything. Um, it's kind of aids, to be honest. I'm not even sure if I hit him. So you've got to wait until you can actually see him. Like, the whole idea of having a scope on this weapon is essentially useless because by the time you can start using it 
Uh, <laughs> he's close enough to attack you, which is really frustrating. Uh, we are poisoned, which doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Now, if you shoot him in the heart, I think you have to shoot him like five or six times or something. By the time... Oh, god damn it. I don't know whether it's my monitor settings, because I, I literally, I cannot see him. I can't see him at all. Uh, yeah, you only have to shoot him a couple of times in the heart, and then it's all gravy. But I think we're going to sod the, the sniper rifle, to be honest, because, as I said, I literally cannot see him. And by the time we can see him, it's too late. So we can just we can just cheese it with these. There is actually achievement for shooting them in the heart, but yeah, yeah. Unless you're really bloody good uh, on this mode, but then you know, I've always killed him by shooting him in the heart. Anyway, it's not an impossible task by any stretch of the imagination. I'm definitely struggling here though. But you can just finish him off with regular standard weapons, so it's not the end of the world. He just takes an awful lot of hits. Not really sure how many. Yeah, you can just see the poison gas just totally funnels you in. It's kind of almost impossible to get away from him. Yeah, I'm going to say it's something to do... Oh, God. Stun locked. I'm going to say it's something to do with this version. I literally can't see the guy. The screen is literally just white. Uh, might be worth using that, to be honest. Let's see if we can just... Oh, no, we got him. Yeah, we actually got him anyway. Steve, leave him, leave him to die. Are you all right? Claire, you're alive. I'm sorry. I failed you. <laughs> yes, you did. Don't worry about it. Let's go. <clears throat> you useless failure, Steve. Too busy I swear watching. I'll protect you next time, Claire. See, listen to the way he talks. Too busy watching anime. Claire doesn't need your protection. Claire's driving because Steve's just too incompetent to do anything. Alexia. 
Nothing's ever simple. Yeah, nothing is ever simple. In the meantime, on a isolated island, where's Redfield? Following up on a lead given to me by Leon has brought me here. Here we see our hero climbing, scaling the fortress. Like a badass. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> oh, I love that bit so much. Yeah, we're on the way. Um, I love that bit. He just slips and drops everything. Oh, good God. Now, back to our boy, Chris. Yep. Jeez. Well, at least he had uh, a first aid spray, a gun, a knife, and some bullets in his pockets. But unfortunately, he's dropped his rail gun, minigun, grenade launcher, and rocket launcher. Never mind. Okay, well, let's grab this. Nice herb to start the day off. Yeah, that was strange, actually, fighting uh, Nosferatu there. Like, I don't know whether there's something wrong with my monitor settings or whether it's this game, but literally, I'm zooming in, but you just you cannot see anything. That was really strange. I don't remember that last time. I remember it not being too hard. Um, oh, Rod Rugo. Hello. Now, uh, Chris's gun is actually different to Claire's. Uh, he's got a Glock 17, and it's a large size handgun that uses 9mm. Yes, unfortunately, he still has only brought a 9mm handgun, but uh, it does slightly more damage than Claire's gun. Uh, it also has a higher critical, from what I can understand. The only trouble with it is Claire's gun has the advantage of just rapid fire practically which definitely trumps chris's gun in my opinion i didn't expect to find another living person left on this island who are you i came here looking for a certain girl a girl have you seen anyone named claire redfield did you just say claire yes you know she is don't you don't worry about her. I helped her escape. Several planes took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. I see. I guess my sister owes you. Thanks for helping me. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Not quite. Follow your sister and get off this island. There's still at least one other person on this island. Oof. Pretty rough end. Pretty rough end indeed. Hmm. I must save him. Yeah, we'll save him. Uh, luckily, 
we have all this govins here. Now, if you critically failed and you didn't realize, or oh, this is like the first time you're playing this game, uh, whatever you have left over here actually stacks. So Chris gets all of this stuff too, uh, which is precisely why I put all the handgun bullets back. Because, yeah, we are going to get handgun bullets. But, you know, I would rather just have um, Claire's gun, to be honest. Now, we are going to upgrade Chris's handgun um, eventually anyway. In fact, not that far away, to be honest. But, in my opinion, I just... I just don't like Chris's handgun in this. It's really not that good. Claire's is so much better because of that auto fire. You know, the small percentage of extra damage that that does is just humongously offset by just how punishing um, this weapon is. Uh, we will get upgraded though. Uh, right, so what else do we have? We don't need that. Let's put, we've got a little bit of health here as well. And believe it or not, we're gonna get even more yet. Um, look at all these F8 sprays we have. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, seven. We've got seven, bearing in mind Claire's just eaten one. So, two knives. Uh, what should we take? Yeah, I guess we could take that, I suppose. Um, probably. Actually. Oh. I guess we could stick with that for now. Yeah, uh, yeah. let's just use Chris's one just to demonstrate it, I suppose. But before we do that, we're going to save the game anyway. Because we're out of time here. So, when we come back, I guess we're going to save Rodrigo. Uh, if we can. Pretty, pretty sure we can. At least of sorts, anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.